All right, y'all, the top 10 players of the decade. And this is just the four major sports. Some people have been mad at my list because they were like, oh, Floyd Mayweather. This is not fair to compare individual sports to team sports. Because, of course, Mayweather dominated more, and Serena did. And they're great, don't get me wrong, for sure. But it's not fair, like, because they dominated more. Like, um, we know how great LeBron is, and LeBron only won three championships uh, in his, the last decade. Um, but if it was, like, who the best player in the NBA, you know what I'm saying? LeBron probably would have won every year, you know? Like, you know, maybe besides a couple of years. But I'm just saying, like, it's hard to determine that. This is the four major team sports, hockey, NHL. MLB baseball, NFL football, and NBA basketball. And here's my top 10, man. I'm just, this is going to be a short video because I already talked about it. I, I posted this December 31st on, on Facebook 2019. I might as well post it on here for you guys. But number 10, uh, I got Alexander Ovechkin. Um, he won an MVP in the Stanley Cup uh, MVP. Um, I think he played for the Washington Capitals. So he's a great hockey player. Um, you can't forget hockey. I got two hockey players on this list, actually. Um, he's number 10 for me. Um, like I said, one MVP and one Stanley Cup MVP. Uh, that's good enough for him to be, make the list. Number nine, I got Stephen Curry, uh, two-time MVP and three-time NBA champ. Um, of course, he had NBA, all NBAs and all there. But all these guys are great, so I didn't have to put that in there. Uh, Steph Curry, man, with the two championship, uh, three championships in uh, 15, uh, 17, and 18. Um, two, two league MVPs in 2000. Um, what was it? Uh, 15 and 16, I think he won MVP. Um, you'll have to check that for me. But uh, number eight, I got Aaron Rodgers. It was a toss up between Aaron Rodgers and um, Steph. But I gave Rodgers the edge because uh, Curry never won a finals MVP. Um, and Aaron Rodgers won two MVPs, just like um, Steph Curry. Rodgers won two MVPs and he won one Super Bowl MVP, too. And he and he performed way like that well, was one of the greatest performances in uh, that playoff run for Aaron Rodgers. And it was a wild card team, I believe, too. So that was impressive. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is great. Um, number seven, I got Justin Verlander. Um, he won a league MVP and two Cy Youngs. And uh, the, the year he won MVP, I think he won a Cy Young too. So he did both in one year. Uh, he's my personal favorite pitcher of all time. Probably because I've been a Tigers fan. And uh, I wasn't old enough to see. Well, I've seen John Smokes and uh, Greg Maddox. I love those guys too. But uh, Verlander's my favorite, man. Because he, he helped us get the two pennants. I mean, get the two World Series in um, 06 and uh, I think 2013 or something like that. 12 or 13. Um, that's uh, Justin Verlander. Um, he's a dominant pitcher. He can throw. Maybe the seventh inning, he'd be throwing 98, 97. Then all the time, when I was in Detroit, I lived in Detroit, so all the Tigers game came local. So I seen all of them games, bro. Like, I mean, I seen a lot of those games where Verlander was going crazy. Number six, I got Kevin Durant, one time MVP, four time scoring champion, a two time finals MVP. Um, <clears throat> the two finals MVP capped it off, and he already, he already won four scoring titles in the, uh, from 2010 to 2019, and a league MVP with LeBron in the league. In 2014, he won MVP. His MVP speech was dope. Um, now we get into the top five. Um, I got one hockey player, two baseball players, one football, one basketball. So number five, I got Sidney Crosby. Um, some people might put Durant over him, but I don't think so. I don't know. It's close. They both won an MVP in two. Uh, Finals, you know, championship MVPs. Uh, Sidney Crosby won two Stanley Cup MVPs and a one uh, league MVP. Um, and then he's just been consistent, like, on, on leading, leading goals, leading, leading assists, stuff like that. Like, he's uh, he's dominant. Um, they're part of it, too, Durant. Like, he's one of my favorite players ever, and that's my guy. But him going to the Warriors kind of, I don't know, kind of like Crosby just had a, some people Crosby just had a more impressive career. Um, in hockey than Durant did in basketball. But number four, I got uh, Clay and Clayton Kershaw. Um, the, he won a league MVP. He won an MVP just like um, Verlander did. But he won three Cy Youngs instead of two. And Kershaw is so dominant, man. Like He performed better in the playoffs than um, Verlander did. Because Verlander had some stinker games. Uh, I still think he top 20 ever, both of them. But uh, Kershaw is better. I can't be biased. Kershaw is better um, for me um, all time and on a, a regular scale I mean, right now, too. Um, I know Verlander's older too, so, um, oh, I missed the camera, my bad, y'all. Um, that's, uh, Clayton Kershaw, three, the pitcher for the Dodgers. I think they went to, like, three World Series in a row. No, they went to two, then this year, that this past, they didn't do it last year. Uh, number three, I got Mike Trout, um, dominant baseball player. 
bat over 300 consistently, get over 30 home runs, uh, over 100 RBIs. Um, he's been the best player in baseball for a while now for me. Um, he's, he's, he's great. Number two, I got Tom Brady, uh, two-time MVP and two Super Bowl MVPs. This is just in the two, since 2010. Remember, he won three um, Super Bowls. Three. Yeah, he won three Super Bowls, 2000, I think, against the Rams, Panthers, and Eagles. But this era, he won one against um, Seattle uh, with Marshawn Lynch didn't run the ball in. They didn't give it to Marshawn Lynch. And then um, they beat the Falcons when they was down 28-3. Um, and then Brady just won. Oh, wait. I thought he had more rings than that. Oh, they lost to the Eagles in one of them. Yep, they lost to the Eagles. Then they lost to the Giants twice. Um but that was in the last era. But Tom Brady, just great. Um, great quarterback. We already know about Tom Brady. Um, number one, I got LeBron James. Um, just the dominance, man. Um, I'm going to spend more on LeBron, time on LeBron because he's – I got a number one player of the decade. Three-time MVP. Um, I, I ain't got my thinking cap on now. 2012. No, no, not 12. Yeah, 12. 2012, second year in Miami. The third year in Miami with 2013. Uh, LeBron won MVP. Oh, they won one in 2010 with Cleveland. That was the, like the best version, one of the best versions of LeBron. But three-time MVP and three-time Finals MVP. Finals MVP he won um, 2016 in Cleveland, and then Miami he won 2012 and 13. So 2012, 13 he won MVP and Finals MVP. So he did that twice. He probably the only player on his list that won MVP and Finals MVP in the same season twice in that decade. So LeBron been dominant. Um, 2010 won a league MVP. Um, and then they lost, 2010, they lost to, dang, I'm tripping. 2010, they lost to Boston in, uh, I think it was the second round. And in 2011, they lost to the Mavericks in the finals. 2012, LeBron won MVP. Then they beat the Thunder in the finals, finals MVP. 2013, he won finals MVP and regular season MVP. They beat the Spurs. So that's two championships. 2014, they lost, they made it to the finals, but lost to the, uh, to the Spurs. Um, but LeBron averaged 28 that series. The next game, 2015, it's all off the top two. 2015, they lost to the Warriors. Um, but Durant, uh, I mean, I think Kyrie Irving and um, Love went down. But we, I mean, we still can't take that away from the Warriors, I guess, because I don't know. We can't say if they would have won or not. <clears throat> Kyrie played the first game and they went to overtime. But he got hurt in overtime, I think. I think, or fourth quarter, one of them. But uh, LeBron averaged 36 points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists that series. Didn't shoot a higher percentage, though, but. Part of that because Devlin Doe was their second best player. No, no, no offense to him. Um, 2016, they won a first championship in Cleveland. LeBron got the block on Iguodala. Kyrie came down, hit the three. Um, LeBron won Finals MVP. Led the team. Led uh, both teams in points, rebounds, blocks, steals, and assists. Uh, that's LeBron. Um, 2017, they uh, that's when Durant was with the Warriors. Uh, they lost that series. I think LeBron averaged a triple double. They lost four to one. And then that they had Kyrie. In 2018, they didn't have Kyrie. Um, and they lost to the Warriors again. Durant won Finals MVP. LeBron still had a good series. Uh, I think 2000, I might be wrong, but I think 2018 was better than 17. Even though 17, LeBron averaged a triple-double. I think it was just the fourth quarter that he, he didn't play good in. But 2018, he scored 50 the first game or 51, something like that. That's when they didn't have Kyrie. They got swept 4-0. Um... And then 2019, he played with the Lakers. They didn't make the playoffs, but that's only one. I just told you, he had a great decade. Like, him not making the playoffs just doesn't change that. Because um, we know it's a team game. He's playing with a bunch of young guys. I think he missed, uh, like, 22 games or something like that for the first time in his career. But um, that's it, y'all. Top 10 players of the decade. Let's go. Um, number 10, I had Alexander Ovechkin. Uh, he's a hockey player. Stephen Curry, basketball, number 9. Number 8, I got Aaron Rodgers, uh, football. Number 7, I got Justin Verlander basketball i mean baseball i'm sorry number six kevin durant basketball number five Sidney crosby hockey number four clayton kershaw baseball number three mike trout baseball number two tom brady football and number one lebron james basketball that's my top 10 players of the decade from 2010 to 2019